my girl gang, so no glitch. I just hopped in a Mercury. Then we had put like four D. They told me she was just great. They got no bitch, she can have no story. I had to pick out my carrots myself and they yell at the bitch like. What's up, world? It's your boy Ken and Corey. And uh, I just got back from the Jimmy Bolt listening party. And uh, it was pretty lit. It was pretty dope. You know me, I just got home. I had my little midnight little snack. Little... All right, so first of all, I got invited out to go with 1501. She's a new fam. The event was hosted at the Domain Lounge. It's like a, a street in Houston, like Midtown area off of West Timer. I don't really have that many good things to say about it because last time I went there, they wouldn't let me come in with my camera. But I guess this event kind of opened up some doors, so I was able to get in. Oh, by the way, I'm shooting this on the Black Magic 4K. I just bought this camera about a week and a half, two weeks ago, and I've been loving every minute of it. Jimmy Bolt is the guy who's having the listening party, and he's really affiliated with a lot of different influencers in the city. When I first got there, there was somewhat of a line outside, but we were able to skip it because of somebody we knew. They just came outside and got us. When I say us, I was with my boy Sergeant J, my boy Kelly, and we were just riding in Sergeant J's new Mercedes Benz, heading up there, having a good time. When you first walk in, there's a bunch of different like sections. Like the winning club is sectioned off, it's like a bunch of sections. There's like one main section in the middle or two main sections in the middle. There's a stage across from that with sections on the left and right side of it and then sections going all around the club. This club was shaped kind of like a perfect square and the back side of the perfect square, there was like a square shaped bar area where you could get drinks and stuff. The decorations for Jimmy Bolt's event was pretty dope. I'm not exactly sure who's in charge of his marketing team or if he's the one doing it, but whoever it is, they're doing a great job because I saw posters, backdrops, you could take pictures of them, people wearing his name on shirts. He had a merchandise table. Here's a note to my future self. Get some merchandise. Put it out on the table. Somebody might buy it. But anyway, the listening party was pretty dope. They were playing his music like in between other like songs that are mainstream. I kind of felt like that was a good way to kind of help break his songs in and give you an example of like what he was doing. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of get like a whole like Young Thug vibe from this guy. When he walked by, not only does he look like Young Thug, but he kind of sounds like him too. Now I know Jimmy Bolt because of his fashion sense. Um, from what I understand is he was like known for like designing clothes and selling them and stuff like that. He has his own shop out here in Pearland. And now he's really getting into the music scene, which I don't blame him. I think it's a great idea. But all together, I had a great time. Um, I saw a few faces there that I already knew. You know, like one of my major goals ever since I came to Houston was to just get involved in the city. And now I'm really involved. So it's cool just to start seeing even my own work play out. But anyways, guys, it is pretty late. I just wanted to show some love to Jimmy Bolt and uh, make sure you guys go follow the guy. I'm gonna put all his links to his social media in the description. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later on in the next video.